What is up, YouTube? This is Chase Bristow, the Game Nomad, with a new series called Fake Foe with Chase Bristow, where I will be eating this uh, fake foe while bitching about fake things and fake people. Because if there's one thing I am and stand by and stand for and will... I will follow it into the deepest, fieriest pits of hell. It's authenticity. That being said, full disclaimer time. I know you guys are sick and tired of hearing this, but maybe you should help me if you're sick and tired of hearing it. Maybe you should uh, do something. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your nana, share it with your aunt, your uncle, whoever the hell. Your gay lover, for all I give a damn. Put it on instead of watching porn while you're sucking some guy off for all I care. Just get me to host Saturday Night Live and I won't be discussing it anymore. <gasps> There's a solution. Anyway, the, the reason I want to host is because I've been on the, in, in, bleh, on the Howard Stern Show. I've been in the New York Times. I'm doing this for autism awareness, cancer research, and helping out the homeless. If I make any profits... Homeless shelter will benefit. One homeless shelter. Somebody has connections out there. I'll let you choose if you are the one that gets me on. Autism awareness and cancer research. I'm not keeping any money for myself. Maybe just a couple hundred dollars to splurge on my cat, Sophie. Once I get my apartment. Which this agency is helping me with. That out of the way, um, Fake Foe with Chase Bristow. Let's get into it. Today's topic is, um, there's so many. This is going to be a six month series. Well, three to six months. Once I get moved out of here, I'll go into something else, probably. Yeah, definitely. But today's topic will be fake people. Not really. Well, there's going to be... No, that's just going to be this, a chapter in itself. That's going to be like... I mean, consider... Think of this as you know, fake fell, if you will, as a book. Okay? There's so many chapters. And you can't do an entire chapter of a really good novel in just one day. Just one sitting. So, first chapter we're going to do is Fake People. Uh, the focus today will be... Now, I've already done enough, sh cast enough shade in reality on the transgender, so I'll move away from that. Um, fake friends. And I'll be bitching until I'm done with this. So that's when this session is over once I finish that. This and take a hit of my vape. For now, I'm ending the season. This fake foe. Um... Okay, so fake people. First and foremost, fake friends. God knows I've, I've gotten rid of plenty of them. To make room for real ones, even though real friends who are genuine are hard to come by. Let me explain. I've been in and out of friendship so much, mainly because they're so fake. Um... I had one friend who said, who was a real estate agent who told me that she was going to help me um, get in my own little apartment that I could afford, that I could pay cash for. One of them was available the next day. She said she would even help me pay for it. And I was just going to have her along as basically my... Um, a professional 
for advice. Um, with that being said, uh, she works with reality, with reality pros in Daytona. Um, but, told me to call her the next day, and I did. All day long. Um, did I hear from her? Hell no. It took about two weeks to hear from her. I guess she thought she could make up for it by taking me to Disney World. I'm sorry, I don't really want to ride Space Mountain or the teacups or anything. I just wanted a roof over my head. I could easily pay for a trip to Disney World if I wanted to. Mm. But, that was one. Then you have people who, who, when you first meet up, oh, you can call me anytime. We'll hang out, we'll chat. Mm hmm. I had a dollar for every time I heard that. I mean, it fell through. I could pay for a goddamn house on the beach. What happens when I hear that? Oh. I call you. Maybe once a day. For three days in a row. Then. I call you again. The excuse, the excuse is, I've been busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Mm. And pretty soon, there's no responses to my text messages. So I don't want to hear that shit. Because if you exhibit that behavior, and here's some advice for people who are going through that shit. Cut those people out of your lives. You're worth way more than lies and excuses. You know? And then you have people... who will... They'll lie to you, lie to your face, and say that they love you. I'm sorry, you don't love me if you're going to be sitting on your phone on the other side of the goddamn room. And then take your phone and then lay it face down on the table. You're hiding something. You don't love me. Hmm. And ladies, and fags of life, you see somebody put their phone down like this, run. Don't walk, run away from it. Because they're hiding something. Somebody says they're gonna be there for you and call them any time, day or night, and they start getting distant, run. Don't walk away from it. Cut them out of your life. You're worth more than that. Mm. You know, It's not basic science. It's elementary. You're gonna be with somebody, you be with them. Not be next to them and on your phone, but be with them. Engage in conversation, make eye contact. 
put your goddamn phone down because nothing's more important than your other half. If you can't do that, then you should take that phone and shove it up your ass. But make sure the screen is shattered first. That way you can feel the glass shredding your asshole. A fate you definitely deserve. Mm. Oh. And if you're going to tell somebody, oh, you can call me anytime, day or night. Before you say that, you better re be ready to commit to that. And how hard is it to take two minutes out of your day? Just two. Oh, hey, I'm sorry you're going through such a hard time. Um, let me check my schedule and see if we can grab lunch. Hmm. I'm busy tomorrow. It looks like I uh, should be free on Friday. Can we go Friday? Okay, fine. Friday at noon. Tell them where to meet you. There. You got your lunch date. Unless y'all too fucked in the head to realize that, then you just make people go into downward ass spirals. Christ, that should happen to me. I ain't letting it happen to me ever again. Hmm. In fact, it happened to me twice in my life. Once, where I had to fake my own phony death just to make sure my messages were going through and my Facebook was actually, you know, posting things. People could see it. Mm. The second time I just went out and got high. Bought a shit ton of drugs and did them. Which wasn't too long ago, and then I just said, fuck it, and I left Florida. Just stop being fake, people. Mm. The only thing fake I can tolerate that is acceptable is this fake phone. And, well, definitely imitation crab meat. That shit's good. Hmm. Good hell. Imitation crab meat just is mouth watering. I love imitation crab meat. I'm from Baltimore, too. I shouldn't be liking it, but I do. Ah, uh, it ties into sushi, though. I love me some sushi. Now, if you have ever had sushi, California roll, more specifically, there is imitation crab meat in there. That's why I like it. Do not get me confused with a fake Baltimore person. Because I do love me some steamed crabs. Real. I don't care what anybody says. You ain't had steamed crabs unless you have them in Baltimore. And we know how to cook them. Mm. Go Ravens. Uh, uh, Goddamn. Actually, If I did have to pick a team, I'm not going to be fake about it. Hmm. If I had to pick one football team to be a fan of, if I absolutely had to, considering I hate sports, it would be the Pittsburgh Steelers, honestly. Something I never really mentioned, but I love the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know how football works. I don't know anything about football. But what I do know is I have a favorite cousin who loves the Steelers. 
and I want to be supportive of him. So I chose to love the Steelers too. Hmm. And it's been that way for a long ass time. Juice is the best part. Absolutely love the juice. Mm, 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 mm. So, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, guys. You don't want to miss this. Where I grill flakes on Grinder. I remember. Fellas, if you can't find me over the nearest bowl of food, find me underneath the nearest man. And if you can't find me there, find me on YouTube, for God's sakes. Bitch, slap the living hell out of that like button. And smash on that little subscribe thing you, that you got there. And follow your dreams, baby. Follow them hard. Love you guys.